Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at Money 2020 in Amsterdam. Kindly joining me now in the press lounge away from the busy event is Travers Clark Walker from Thought Machine. Travers, great to see you again. Thank you for joining us. Great to be with you, Hannah. Really good to have you here in the press lounge away from uh, the busy event. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing about what you've been up to since we last spoke back in 2019 and uh, what we can expect from Thought Machine. Great, well thank you. And it's you know, fantastic to be here at Money 2020. Uh, the second year, I guess, that it's been back after the pandemic. So, you know, great news for all of us. Uh, so what have we been up to? Uh, well, I mean, during the, during the pandemic period, we doubled the size of the organisation. We recently closed a uh, Series D funding round, which is material to us, not just for the valuation perspectives and the, and the funding into the business, but also because it, it really puts us on that scale out, scale up journey. Um, that's seen us build out the US team uh, significantly. Uh, we already have a team down in, down in Singapore. And uh, of course, we've made a few you know, pretty decent client announcements over that period as well. So banks like JP Morgan Chase and Intesa Sao Paulo, uh, I guess to name a two. And of course, they came in uh, on the recent funding round as well alongside uh, Morgan Stanley. So uh, very exciting times for the organization. And, uh, and today at Money 2020, we've also launched uh, Vault Payments, which is yes our second product in market uh, to complement Vault Core, which of course has been in market for uh, around seven years. Sure, and that's really going to help with tackling that problem of legacy systems, isn't it? So let's talk a bit about that. What does Vault Payments mean uh, for those banks? Sure, well, I mean, let's start with the technology side of it. Uh, so Vault Core has been, as I said, in the market for, for six years, but mm. Vault Core is, you know, cloud native microservice architecture platform entirely of the cloud generation. And that's been transformational for core systems for banks. And as we said, we've picked up uh, plenty of plenty of clients, large and small around the world. And Vault Payments kind of follows on in exactly the same mold. So it's a deeply cloud based technology using the same principles. Everything operates in real time. And I guess similar to the way that we architected Vault Core, it's universally applicable, so it's applicable to card schemes and payment schemes. So it can connect to those in a in a standard way. It's built on uh, or messaging system mm -hmm. perspective. It's built on ISO 20022, uh, which gives you know, complete standardization. And that that means that you know transactions can be routed uh, in a very effective way within the system. Uh, but at the same time, it's independent of Vault Core. So both. Both the systems are independent of one another. Of course, they will work, um, you know, in a highly configured way together. Should sure. should should a bank wish to take both from us, uh, but Vault Payments can integrate to existing core systems, and and enable kind of transactional activity that just wouldn't have been able to be possible before. Most notably, of course, putting payment schemes and card schemes into the same platform. All right, very interesting. Thanks for bringing us up to date then. So I want to end on the crystal ball question, as it were, looking uh, to the future then. What can we expect from this space? And what do you think, uh, it is a big question, what do you think banking is <laughs> going to look like in 2030? In 2030? Well, that's a great question. I mean, to some extent, I, I go back. You know, Money 2020 started in 2012, right? When 2020 was eight years away from us and that was the future state and of course we were out talking about you know what was banking going to look like in 2020 and to some extent I feel that the fintech community at large has now reached its its mature state its point and you know Thought Machine is a case in point in that we're now in our full scale up and scale out and deployments around the world uh, so you know if you take the point that now these technologies have all reached their kind of critical mass of being applicable and applicable into the market. Then the next, you know, eight years or so is about getting those installed. And Thought Machine with Vault Core and Vault Payments is the foundation systems of modern banking. And of course, in that period, they're going to be deployed. What's the outcome? The outcome for consumers is richer customer experiences, experiences that all operate in real time, a data enabled, providing, you know, kind of personalized information that just isn't available to them today. And for the banks or the financial institutions, lower cost of operation, massively simplified technology operation, which means that new innovative products can be brought to market. So I think, you know, it is possibly the most exciting time. We were very excited about fintech, you know, back in 2012 and over the years. But of course now it's reached its stage where it can, you know, it is definitely applicable 
into large-scale financial organisations in a way that it wasn't before. So it's exciting times for us all. It is indeed, and the one who's going to benefit the most of us is, of course, uh, the customer, isn't it? A absolutely. The experience is the, the, the better, better products, the lower-cost products, the richness of the data sets that can then be utilised to create personalised products in ways that just haven't been possible. Um, is you know based on our technology and of course the rest of the fintech community's technology. So watch this space. Looking forward to catching up further down the line and reflecting on those predictions. Uh, but thank you so much for taking the time out of the event to speak with us. Fantastic. Thank you, Hannah.